you can see I've got the uh, the color controls in my main bubbles here. Uh, tucked away here on the Alt S12 position is a thing that says text match. Now what that's referring to is the ability to match to a palette. Now we haven't recorded any palettes on this um, show yet but we have got some built-in ones as well. So you can record to things that, that you um, record yourself or you can record to, for example, Lee, what's a good Lee colour? Let's go uh, Lee 201, enter. That's just a little bit more blue if you have a look at the stage. Uh, let's pick another uh, colour. Stay looking at the stage. I'll pick, um, let's go Lee 19. And that's called Fire. And uh, you can see on, on my screen there um, that this colour bubble under here roughly matches the colour that is actually out on the stage. So if you just jump from there back to the stage, you can see that that's more or less the same colour. Conveniently on the screen, you, you can see the um, uh, inside the bubble, it actually says L019 for Lee 19, which is the actual colour of that filter. Now the way to approach this, and the way I tell uh, the, the guys that I deal with with this is that um, with colour matching and colour picking and, and selecting gels and things like that, you need to think about this in terms of, of the light that you're putting it in front of. If you took a, a Discharge Mac 2000 or something like that and stuck a piece of Lee 201 in front of it, you're going to get a very different colour to Lee 201 in front of a tungsten light. And this is the same kind of thing that will apply here. It'll get you 90 to 95% of the way there for colour matching and you may need to tweak it a bit after that. All right, the other cool thing that we can do, now I've got this interesting red happening up here. I'm just going to twiddle another colour, a random colour. Okay, we've ended up with some kind of limey green kind of thing happening uh, on the screen and on the stage. And uh, so what I'm going to do is a text match, but I'm going to do a reverse match this time. I'm going to do, uh, here in S1, I'm going to do a palette match. Now, if I palette match to Lee, which is what I selected last time, it's going to select the Lee filters that are closest to the, the colour I happen to have dialed up. So in this particular instance, uh, that green is very close to Lee 736, um, which is called Twickenham Green or something like that. Um, and so you can see on the stage there, that is the green that we're seeing out on our curtains and our, and our back walls. That's, that's a pretty fairly close, that's a pretty close representation of the colour that I dialed up. And that then allows me to assign a number to that colour that makes sense to us as, as lighting people, rather than, oh, well, it's really cyan at 100%, magenta at 33%, and yellow at 